Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Mail Merge to send party invites to your friends and colleagues. So on the screen, I've got a blank Word document, which I'm going to change and get a template party invite. So to do that, I'm going File, New. And what you get when you do File, New is a list of all these little templates. I've just recently used this one, so that's the one I'm going to use. And I uh, basically just typed it in there, invite, and these, this came up along with a lot of other ones. So I'll select this one, and then I'm going to create it. Click on create, and then that sits on my screen, ready to be sent along with whatever I need to bring. So let's just put something in here. I'll just put bring wine. Bring wine and respond to John Smith. That's all I need to fill in there. Now, I need to get my database of friends and family. So up onto the mailings tab, because this is a mail merge tutorial really. You start over here. I don't need to change this because this is already sitting on the screen, but select recipients you've got options to create a new list or use an existing list so if you're creating a new list you just basically type in your friends there and then you save this and it becomes like a a database table you can customize the columns by clicking in here moving them up or down renaming them so for example this is a uk based one so that would be zip code in the us rename that you can delete anything that you don't think you need and totally change this around if you want. But I'm going to cancel that off and cancel this off because I've already got one that I've filled in. So if I go back up here and select use existing list, previous ones are sitting here. So my data has just got two people in it. If I go into that, now if you edit the list, you can see that the two people are myself and my wife and if I come to the right I've put the um, the same email address in so that I should get two copies of this email but one to meet myself and one to my wife so I'll just cl click OK to that and then you can edit this text and fill it fill it in with any of these merge fields so what I need to put in there is hi and then just get the first name field from here. As you see all the fields are sitting here now. Put that in there. It comes in with a bit of code. But if you click on this preview results, that'll go so it shows you the end result. Just change that to lowercase. So that's going to say, hi, Steve. You've been invited to celebrate with us. And that will say, hi, Alana, for my wife. That's how it works. And then you're ready to finish the merge. So if I click send email messages now to, for this to work you do have to have the email field otherwise you're doing it by post email address and then you give it a title so party invite for example and it's going as html which is okay you click okay to that and then it will send the emails and then i'll just go into outlook to check that they've been received. So I'll just click OK to this and it just whirs away for a second and then you now need to go and check in Outlook. So I'll just go into Outlook and check. And there you can see. Hi Steve, there's mine. And then this one says Hi Alana. So for each record in your database list, they will receive this information. I didn't fill the information in, but you get the process. So let's go back into Word. So that's the source document. If you need to add extra people and do it again, you can just go into Edit Recipient List, click on the database, My Data, and then Edit, and then you can add a new person. So I'll just put one person in there, Miss Melanie Smith. Sure, she won't like a name in lowercase, so I'll just get rid of that. And then I'll just go and do an email 
and I'll do the same email myself again steve at it's easy dot co dot uk now if you if you add in extra people you probably wouldn't want to send every single thing again so what you need to do here is maybe filter it so if i just drop this down you've got options of filtering here so if i just do that and then okay do you want to update your recipient list and save the changes to my yes so now I've only got one person, that's a new person. So filtering by surname is probably not a good idea, but in this case it'll work. You could filter it by company or city or whatever. Now click OK to that. So now it's just got one and there is one record. So that's just the one record that I've just added. And then you can finish. Same thing. Everything else is exactly the same. You click OK and off that will go into Outlook the outbox of Outlook and then send and then you just check your inbox and then that should be there as well so there it's just dropped in so there's the three up together and this one is to Melanie so you've just updated it so that's how you would do that and then if you're going to use this database list over and over again you probably want to get that filter off so what I'm going to do is go back into that go back edit the list click on it edit and just make sure that everything's back as it was everything's there all three records there's no filter on yes so the filters on here so take that off equal to Smith so none okay back as normal so if I did it again every, everybody would get the message or the update so if you're going to update the date for example the dates changed that's what you'd have to do so that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how to use Mail Merge to send a party invitation to your family and friends. So hopefully it's been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.